chapter 4, 这样子是, agency and its responsibility. Okay. Agency, what is an agency? Okay. 这是房地产, 公司, okay. 他们的责任是什么? What is an agency? It's an authority to act in place of another, a principle, to do a specific act for a state period of time. Uh, agency, this is 代表嘛, okay? 你代表屋主也好, 买主也好, okay? 去做件事, 买房子还是买房子, 一段时间, okay? Agent, principle, and third party, okay? You have to know what the parties are. An agent is a general term. Okay. Now I'm a broker. I'm also called agent. Okay. Agent is the most general term. Okay. This this word is very broad. Okay. Agent. Okay. This this name. Okay. Ah, I'm a broker, but they are the agent. So this is a representative. Okay. Company is also an agent. This is a representative. Okay. You are a sales agent. This is an agent, okay? So your sales agent, your agent, your broker, your agent, your company, you're an agent, okay? Uh, it's just that you represent someone to do something. It's called agent. Now, principal, okay? You're the person who hires an agent, okay? Principal could be who? A seller, a buyer, okay? A third party. Who's the third party? Disanjit. Okay, it's the one who does the work. Okay, for the principal. For example, escrow company, insurance company, title company, termite company. Okay, etc. Okay, 那是中中间交易公司 escrow. Okay, title 产权保险公司 Okay, 白蚂蚁公司 Okay, 检查房屋公司等等 Okay, 都是 third party. Okay, so in California, okay, who is acting in return for compensation or must have a license? Okay, 你代表别人的话，你收佣金必须要有 license. Okay, either to sell or to offer to sell. 你卖房子 ，okay, buy or offer to buy. 买房子 ，okay, solicit prospective buyers or seller. Okay, 你打广告去找。卖主跟买主都有 license, OK? Negotiate the purchase, sell, loan, or exchange of the business opportunity for real estate, OK? 你买卖房子、租房子、OK? 买卖生意等等、OK? 都有这个 license. Negotiate leases and collect rents, OK? 你呢就是做这个租租约跟收租的都有这个 license, OK? And you could go to the website. Uh, the Department of Real Estate become the Bureau of Real Estate, okay? You could put a D or B, doesn't matter, okay? You still go to the same website. And you can go to the website to check this situation, okay? Law of agency, okay? Agency of law, okay? Applies whenever one person represents another in a business transaction, acts as an agent. Okay, this is the representation. Broker must comply with the California real estate law. Okay, broker could be myself, okay, or a company, okay, whoever has a broker license. Okay, uh, 他们要跟这个加州房地产的法律走。Okay, responsibility of agencies. Okay, because the bro real estate broker is an agent. Okay, the civil code defines his or her responsibility. Okay. 啊，他有责任的 ，OK， 在法律里面 ，OK。Agent must inform principal of all facts，OK、okay?。所有的资料 ，OK， 进去的资料 ，OK。That pertain to handling of the principal property。OK， 他要告诉这个啊屋主 ，OK， 所有的事实 ，OK。啊 ，Agent may not gain any monetary。Interest in property without principal's prior consent. Okay. If seller doesn't know about it, it's called secret profit. Okay, they're gonna.
gonna mention that later on. Okay. 如果这个屋主不知道你赚这个钱的话 ，OK， 就变成秘密了。OK， 就门着他。OK， 这个不合法的。OK， agent may not use principal property to his or her own advantage. OK， 呃、uh, ，you cannot， you know， use the seller's mansion to throw a party and make money. OK。你不可以用人家的豪宅来做 party 去赚钱 ，OK？ Fiduciary relationship to the principal， OK？ 你有什么责任 ，OK？ 啊、um, ，fiduciary relationship， OK？ And then what you do is a truthful relationship， OK？ It's for third party， OK？ For the principal， 你的责任。OK， 什么责任 ？Must be honest。OK， 嗯，你不可以骗人家。OK， disclose material facts。OK， with the utmost care， 要很小心。OK， integrity， 呃、uh, ， accounting for action。OK， loyalty， 忠诚。OK， obey lawful instruction。OK， 就跟着法律走的。No secret profit。OK。不可以秘密这边赚钱 ，OK? Give you an example of secret profit, OK? It's a beautiful house. Everybody want to buy it, OK? Some buyer or selling agent, OK? So give you under the table money, OK? Ten thousand dollars, OK? And the seller don't know about it. That's called secret profit.、Okay? If the seller find out, he sues you, OK? You could lose your license, OK? You go, you go. 卖主知道的话，告你的话，你会失去你的 license， OK？ 呃、uh, ， third party， OK？ Escrow title termite company， same thing， OK？ Good faith fair dealing， OK？ Honest disclose material fact， OK？ Yeah，、uh, you have to have reasonable skills and care， OK？ 你要<咳>知道怎么去做你的生意， OK？ 加上呢，啊，你好好照顾这个客户。Okay, 不用骗他们了。Okay, listing and selling agents. Now, a lot of students, even agents, okay, don't know the difference of the terminology. Listing agent, who is that? Listing agent is say, it's the one who get the listing. Okay, 有这个协议去卖房子。Yeah, for sale. Okay. So, by definition, it's the one who obtain the license. I mean, the listing. Okay. This agent. Okay, 拿到 listing 这个协议 Okay, 这个屋主同意他卖他的房子 Okay, 这个叫 listing agent. Remember, agent can be sales agent, broker, or company. Right? Okay, it's called listing agent. Selling agent is who? The actual agent that actually sell the property. Okay, find the buyer. Alright, 这个 selling agent 就是真的找到一个买主去买他的房子。Okay, 这个叫 selling agent. So the listing agent can be the selling agent, right? Okay. Or if there's not the same listing agent, it could be a different selling agent, right? Yes, if you uh the MLS. Yeah, you you as a selling agent. Do you get commission? Yes, I'm the listing agent. Let's say the total is six percent. I say if you sell it for me, I give you three percent. Okay, your company gets three percent. Okay, depend on how you deal with the company. You get eighty, the broker get twenty. Okay, that's how you split. Okay, now. The selling agent is the one who sells it. Okay. Now, another people say that okay, the selling agent isn't they the buy agent, buyer's agent, right? No. If you call yourself a buyer agent, okay, 你叫你自己是一个 buyer agent 的话 okay, buyer pays you the commission. Okay, 这个买主会付你佣金的时候，你就是金龟市长 ，I'm a buyer agent，OK？、Okay?
Okay, we remember that, okay? Can you post it? Yeah, you could. Uh, but don't get confused, okay? I could be a listing agent, okay? I got... Okay. I'm the broker, right? You're the owner, okay? And everybody else is sales agent. I don't care what other company you're from. Same company as me, right? Uh, there's a difference, okay? So let's say I'm the broker, I'm the agent, I get the listing from you, okay? Now, let's say you are with my company and you are with my company, right? The two, okay? And the rest of you, one, two, three, four, is from a different company, real estate company, okay? So if any one of you, the four of you, okay, find me a buyer to sell her house, okay, you are called selling agent. You're not called buying agent. Okay? Unless, right, you or you go my okay, a buyer actually say, hey, I'll pay you commission to find me a good house. Okay? You represent me. Okay? Then you'll become the selling agent and a buyer agent. You get yeah, you get commission from from, from her, yeah. and then you can get commission from the buyer. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when you give me the offer, you tell me I'm a buyer agent, then I understand. Okay. Okay. <coughs> then we can negotiate on the commission too, right? Okay. Now, if I am the listing agent, I got my own buyer, right? I now become a dual agent. I'm a listing agent and a selling agent. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If my buyer also tell, hey, Pat, you represent me. I'll pay you commission. Triple. Triple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am a buy agent. I'm a selling agent. I'm a listing agent. Okay. I get paid by buyer. I get paid by oh. you. Twice. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> But it depends on how how you want to. But a lot of buyers they don't pay. They don't pay you, okay? Because they know that you get getting paid by the owner, the sell as a selling agent, okay? But if they don't pay you the commission, who are you working for? The selling agent, who are they working for? They're working for her. Okay. So. You are representing the owner to sell her house, right? You buy the house, you buy the house. So you know, the buyer has no protection. Okay? You side with the seller to sell her house to the buyer. Right? If the buyer don't pay you commission, right? Right? Who are you protecting? You're still protecting the seller, right? If the buyer say, okay, I pay you commission, get me the best price, right? Negotiate for me, right? Get me the best house, right? So when you do that, you get commission from the buyer, you get commission from the seller. Yeah, okay. So normally, buyers don't pay commission. They don't, they don't. Okay, unless they know exactly what they want, they say, I'll pay you. Buy me a... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, they don't. They don't talk about buyer agent in here. Okay, so listing and selling agent, same person, is called dual agent. Okay, it's called dual agent. Okay, dual agent. Okay, so everybody understand that, right? Now, okay, let's say. I don't have a buyer. You come out the buyer. You work for my company, okay? You are selling agent, but then my agency, my company, is a dual agent because I got the listing. I also sell her because you are my agent. Same goes with you. You find your buyer. My agency, my company, is a dual agent, okay? From the same company. Because I got the listing and I also sold for her. So my company is a dual agent. Okay? Now, if I get my own buyer, I am the dual agent. 
Okay. If you, any one of you, bring a buyer, the company, the company is a dual agent. Okay. Okay. Everybody understand that, right? Okay. 大家都知道 right? 不需要再翻译了 right? Okay. 其实对翻译来说，他虽然没有付的话，他还是他翻译的房子价格还是在里面，等于他也付了那一半。在羊毛出的人身上啊，对，但是他没有 legal 保护，没有，没有，因为他不卖的话，你找另外一个给他嘛，来，嗯 ，OK，OK， real estate agency relationship disclosure， 这个又宣布出去的 ，OK， 这个关系 ，OK， 啊、uh, ，agency disclosure law。Okay, in 1988, okay, they basically、um, require that everybody know who they represent. Okay,、mm. so they don't have any secrecy. Okay,、um, both the listing broker and the selling broker must declare in writing as soon as is possible whom they represent. Okay,、mm. uh, the seller owner is called seller agency. If you represent the buyer, it's the buyer's agency. If we Represent both your dual agency, okay, and it's consent of all party involved, okay. It's on the same page, okay. 一张纸里面 okay. 他就宣布谁是 owner， 谁是 buyer， 谁是 agent， 谁是另外的 agent, okay. Okay, it goes like this, okay. You're the broker, okay. If you represent the seller, okay, you're seller agent. Okay, and this is、uh, th for the third party. Okay, um, if you're representing the buyer, okay, your buyer's agent. Okay, if we represent both, okay, your dual agent. Okay. 因为代表屋主的话，你是 seller agent， OK？ 代表买主， OK？ 你就帮这个 buyer， OK？ 不表示你是 buyer agent， 你也是 selling agent， OK？ 嗯、um, ，因为代表两方的话，你是 do agent。Hey disclosure， this is a sample， OK？ It has， it's good for buy sell or rental， OK？ That's why they have。Seller and landlord, okay, or buyer or tenant, okay, and then you put your names there, okay. Okay, listing and multiple listing service. Okay, it's through a network, a database. Okay, 这个通过这个网 ，OK， 很多 agent 都知道有什么房楼在里面可以买卖 ，okay. Listing agreement, very important. You know、um, the type of listing agreement, okay? 你卖房子的协议 okay? 你们就知道 All real estate listing must be in writing in order to collect a commission. Very important, okay? Okay, let's say your good friend, right? He went to Hawaii on vacation. He call you. Hey, can you、uh, do me a big favor? Uh, I'm on vacation for two months. Sell my house for me, please. And then you go rushing off, and you sold it, right? So when you come back, you say, "Oh, thank you very much. I'll treat you to dinner." Say, What's my commission? You didn't put it in writing, right? Thank you for your favor, <laughs> right? So it has to be in writing in order to collect commission. Okay, remember that. Okay, good. 记住。又写出来这个协议，你没有写的话 ，OK， 你都收不到 commission， OK， 嘴巴长不行的，不算数 ，OK。OK， there are six basic types of listings， OK， let's go through each one of them。OK， see here， oral listing， not discuss here。So your friend call you from Hawaii， say， wait till you come back， or I'll send you an email， you sign the agreement， OK。Let's go to the hotel、uh, business office. 
Okay, open listing, unilateral non-exclusive contract. Okay, 是单方的，是屋主给出去的。Okay, you know, 不是 exclusive. Okay, 谁都可以卖的。Okay, 这个 listing. So an open listing is merely an authorization to sell a property. Okay, 谁都可以卖。Okay, may be given to any number of brokers. Okay, 它可以多给。房地产公司出去 ，owner may find own buyer and pay no commission. Okay, 他自己买找的买主，他不付你佣金。Okay, usually no time limit, 没有时间限制，这个限制的。Okay, few broker uses this type of listing. Why? They do all the work and then someone else. Okay, they get paid. Now, typically, who uses this open listing? Builders, okay. Builders, 建筑商 developers, okay. They don't care who sells for them, okay. As long as you sell it, I'll pay you commission. If I sell it, I don't pay anybody commission, okay. So usually, builders, 建筑商就是用 open listing, okay. If they want, if you want a builder, give you exclusive. Very tough. Okay, I I don't care. Right, anybody who sells for me, I pay them commission. Okay, just sell it. All right, exclusive agency listing. That's the next level up. Okay, so <coughs> only one company can sell it. Okay, owner may still find buy and pay no commission. Okay, 一个屋主找到个买主的话，这种 listing 他也可以不给你佣金 ，OK？ Only one broker eligible to sell. So if StarMax have this exclusive agency listing, only StarMax can sell, and the owner can sell, OK？ Definite terminate. Yeah. Does the seller get money because the owner uses StarMax, or no? They don't get money. They have to pay StarMax. So, so what do they get if I say, "Hey, I want to sell my house, but I don't want Starbucks to sell it"? Well, Why they don't want to do that? Have more options, yeah, yeah. that's that's if I claim I have buyers oh, okay. already. Okay. Then you say I'll just give it to you to sell, right? Okay. Definite termination day required. So there's a, a timeline. Okay. Everything in here, okay. The company gets paid, or the owner get paid, right? Outside here, then it's no go, okay. It expires, okay. 这个过期了 ，okay. 到期，这不，这停掉了这个 listing, okay. Alright, the next number three, okay. 第三个 exclusive right. This is the right to sell, okay. Listing. Okay. Only the listing broker has the right to sell. What does that mean? Okay. The seller cannot even sell it. Okay. I mean, he could bring a buyer. She, she, he or she could bring a buyer, but then they still have to pay the company the commission. Okay. Preferred by most brokers. Okay. 很很多房地产公司都用它。Okay. 为什么用它呢？就是我不管谁卖。我都可以收到我的佣金 ，OK？ 所以 ，all brokers exclusively using this exclusive right to sell listing, OK？ Broker or person entitled to commission if properly sold within listing period, even if owner finds own buyer, OK？ But it has a timeline, OK？ This is the listing period, OK？ Outside here, it expire, no good. Okay. So once you expire, you have to renew it. Yeah. Or, or the seller to find another company. Because you didn't do your job. I'll give you a month. If you didn't do your job, I can hire them. Yeah. But typically, it's three months. Typically, it's three months. Okay. But we usually ask for six months. Okay. Yeah, for the company. Yeah. Okay. Okay, net listing. Okay. 
This net, net, net listing, okay, any commission consists of amount as in excess is set by the seller. Okay, must be used with another listing. Seldomly used, okay. 很少人用上 net listing. But if you know how to use net listing, you can make a lot of money. Okay, if you use net listing, okay, you can make a lot of money. I'm going to give you an example. Okay, let's say this is a house. Okay, on the market is one million dollar. Okay, you have a contract, right? A listing. Okay, we're gonna use the ex ex exclusive right to sell, right? Mm -hmm. At let's say five percent. Okay. Now, if I sell this home, right, the seller have to pay five percent out of that one million dollar process, right? Proceed. So he's gonna get <laughs> what? Nine hundred fifty. Thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Because five percent of a million is fifty grand, right? This out of fifty grand, right? Minus his other expenses, okay? And the expenses is roughly, let's say, it's ten thousand dollars, okay? So he actually getting nine forty, right? Net in his pocket, right? Mm -hmm. Now I say, okay, Mr. Seller, okay, give me an option, okay, give me an option, okay, of a net listing, okay, you give me a lot of options, okay, what do I give you? I give you one million dollars, okay, cash, okay, no commission, right? No expenses. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get one million dollar. They buy net solely. Okay, and then I find another buyer, right, who fell in love with the house, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. two minutes, too much, okay? One point two million. Mm -hmm. Okay, you find some buyer who loves this house, right? And say, okay. I'm gonna exercise my option now, right? I'll pay you one million dollar. Okay. So what's left over? Two hundred thousand dollars, right? What's the seller's expense? Ten thousand, right? So how much I make in commission? A hundred ninety thousand, right? Versus, okay. Five percent is what? Fifty thousand. Okay. You can't make a tabi, right? Can you see that? Yes, it's done before. But you know, you have to know how to do it, right? For net listing, you have to find the buyer. The key is to you have to have buyer. Okay. So the difference is that, right? The the seller except the one million dollar, right? He saved. Sixty thousand. He saved six right? Because he gave one, right? But you sold one hundred twenty thousand. Okay. Okay. You to pay him, right? All the money that you saved is your money. Okay. So many people don't do this net listing. Okay. Many people do it. Okay. But they don't find a buyer. Okay. You understand? Okay, so you could not, if you cannot find a buyer, you cannot do net listing, right? If you have a good listing, you should have a good listing. Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. But it depends on your on your itemized list, okay? It's, it's for commercial purposes, okay? Uh, some buyer, rich buyer, they just want to buy the house to get the tax deduction. Okay? So it's okay. Okay, you find those buyers, you, you make a lot of money on here, okay? Even if you sell it for 1.1, okay? Okay, that's 90 grand, right? It's almost double your 50,000, right? Uh, you don't need to worry about it. You're in the 
那个电梯后面就是拿拿起 ，OK？ 对。So everybody d o e s t a n d that net listing, right? 你用这个 net listing 这个方式来多赚钱 ，OK？ 好。OK, so this is net listing, OK? Must be used with another listing, OK? And I use it ex exclusive right to sell, OK? Exclusive right, OK? To sell listing, OK? You cannot just say I'm net listing for you, OK? It doesn't work, OK? You have to do it with another listing. And you convince the seller, okay, you're saving on your commission, right? And you're saving on your expenses. 60 grand, you're saving, okay? Oh, that's how you get it? Yeah. They always give it to you, okay? This also works mostly with mansions, right? Million dollar property, okay? Not good for 300, 200, okay? Okay, option listing. Reserved by broker. What does that mean by option listing? It gives the listing broker the right to purchase the property too. Okay. This, uh, ah, 房地产公司还是这个 broker 可以买他的房子 as a principal. Okay. So the broker of the option listing must disclose to the buyers that he's acting as a principal. Okay. So he doesn't bid up the price. Okay. So. You're the owner, I'm the listing broker, okay? I get an option listing from you. That means I could buy your property too, okay? I could become the buyer. But then other buyers, right? When you come to me, I will have to disclose to you, okay? I can compete with you. I'm another buyer, okay? So if you put in 500,000, I put in 500,001, right? I won, right? Yeah. So it's not fair. And then you guys have to bid up. As long as you know that I'm one of the bidders, I'm the competitor, you can stop bidding, right? Because I, I, I hold up a half, high hand, right? So if you put in whatever, I just put a few hundred dollars more, right? I always win, right? But typically, brokers don't have enough money to keep buying every house that they list, right? <laughs> yeah. So option listing, okay, so that's what it means, okay? The, you have an option, you have this uh, as a principal, as a buyer, okay? Listing agreement copies. How do you handle copies, okay? Give copy one sign. So how do you do that if you don't have a copying machine? You print out two copies, have them sign two copies, and leave a copy with them, okay? Mm, Couples who, huh? Yeah. yeah, what I usually do, I print out three copies if I have time, okay? Why three copies? In case you messed up one copy, you still have another copy, okay? So three copies, it may be, you know, that's why you have to use the back sometimes for scrap paper, right? Pe couples who are considered one legal person receive one copy, okay? 夫妻算一个party, okay? So typically I bring three copies there, one is a spare, have them sign two, okay? And then give them one right there and then, okay? Because anytime you take it away, right, you could mark it up and change it, okay? That's not good, okay? Give copy one sign. Okay, there will be a test question too. Okay, when do you when do you give them a copy when they sign it? Okay, now let's say you have three sellers three times, right? How do you and they in different places? How do you handle the copies? Again. When they sign, give them the copy that they sign. Okay, 他签这个份
你就给他签这一份的卡币。I have three copies. Let's say you sign it, right? I I I drive to your place. You sign it, right? Yeah. You get a copy, right? And then you Yeah. If I could use your copy, she signed the copy. She has the copy has two signatures, right? Then go to her, and then I use another copy. She signed that copy, and she has. Only she she does. You you only have your first. And then when I get it all back, right, then I scan it and send it to all three of you. And all three signatures on it. Or I just wait until you, you go back to your office and start to make a copy? No. It says here, give copy when signed. You don't care whose signature is on there. When you sign it, it's a copy. But and then, and then you give her her copy and it has my signature. Yeah. Or, 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 or it could be a separate... Okay, and then I sent you three copies of your signatures, or individually. Okay. Yeah. But sometimes you don't have a copy, right? You don't have a copy, in, you cannot do it, right? And that's why you you have your cell phone, right? You just take a picture. Because usually the signature page is only on the last page, right? Okay. But the key is that give copy when signed. Regardless. Yeah. Regardless, okay? And then for couples that consider to be one legal person, you give them one copy. It's okay. Okay, multiple listing service. Okay. Oh, another thing I want to mention here to, that too, right? If they're couples, right? Mm -hmm. What happened? Husband and wife, they work different times. And say... Do you do you let the husband sign for the wife or the wife sign for the husband? No. no. Absolutely not. Okay. You could say I turn around, right? I say I'll I'll go out for a coffee break, okay? You find your husband, you sign it, okay? I don't know about it, okay? But I don't get it. What about how like to, this is the you know you got two copies and this one is for me it's like this and this one is for me it's this so I got one and that so it's so different. It doesn't matter. Really? What about you make a copy machine that's exactly like that? Yeah, a copy is better, right? But you've got two original signatures, right? It's the same thing. This is copy. Right? Can you repeat the couple? So both of Husband and wife, right? They have to sign individually. Okay? You cannot let the wife sign for the husband or let the husband sign for the wife. Okay? Knowingly, okay. And both of them need to sign, even though they're considered one. Yes, yeah. because both is on the title. Okay. okay. And typically in California, is a community property. Okay. Um, unless they say that this is my property only, I'm the sole owner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they could sign just one one signing. Okay? okay. But if they co-own it, both have to sign. Even for leases, okay? Two years is young, okay? Leases also, okay? So pretty much, if they sign different, big different, they just tell them, no, this is not mine, we have to sign like this. And no, they'll sign the same, you cannot give me different signatures, right? It doesn't make sense. Sometimes I'm, you know, confused. Yeah, but still, people people analyze signature, they know it's you, okay? Yeah. Multiple listing service, okay? This is Wang, okay? This is Xin Shi Wang, okay? An association of broker sales, but they mutually share the listing and sales, okay? Uh, sub agents and cooperating brokers. A licensed broker or sales person, okay? Who has a power been conferred not by the principal but by the agent with the principal of authorization? Okay, like the example that I given before. She's the seller. I'm the listing broker and company. Okay. Um. You two are my sub agents. Agents. Okay. The four of you are called sub agents and cooperating brokers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say this is your comp uh, uh, company, right? 
Just because you're an agent, okay? You're the sub agent, okay? So, uh, the title is uh, you guys out there are sub agents and cooperating brokers, okay? And you get the authority from me, right? My company to sell for her, okay? Okay, any questions on uh, sub agents and cooperating brokers? And also, uh, coming back on the commission side, right? Let's say you bring me a very good buyer, right? And from the contract, I only give out 2%, right? You can come back and negotiate and say, okay, give me 2.5%, okay? And then I go back to the seller. Should I give them 2.5%, right? And then if, they, if she say yes, then I say, okay, give you 2.5%. So it's negotiable, okay? So the principal, because now means you have to know that how much you give to him, right? Like you pay for him? No, the principal have to know. You and him, right? Because I, I, you're listing of me. Yeah, but and you still have to know. Really? Yeah. Like it. Well, whatever, whatever I give them is on the escrow contract. Okay? Escrow, when you go to escrow, escrow will say, this commission paid to me, this company, and this commission paid to that. And you have to sign it. So you, you will know. Okay? I mean, you, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't have to care, right? Yeah, yeah. I could I could take zero and give them all five, right? Yeah. Yeah, but but the thing is, whatever the fact is, right? You have to sign the commission instruction, so you will know who get paid who. Okay. So it will not be a mystery to you. Yeah. As long as you know, you're paying five percent. Uh, Okay, I want to make sure my mic still works. Alright, so let's uh, continue on here. Um, multiple listing service on the internet. Okay, usually we, we go through call.org. Okay, uh, California. Association Realtor, okay, C A R, okay, we call it CAR, okay. A cooperating broker, what does that mean, okay? A non listing broker, a sub agent, okay, who also work to sell the listing property. So they are um, a sub agent, okay, who sells the property for that broker, okay. Agreement between brokers and sellers must be in writing, okay? It has to be writing, okay? If you don't write it out, it's what, what we call, we use in industry and in practice, it's called CBC, okay? Cooperating Broker uh, Compensation or Commission, okay? In there, we say that on your MLS form, right, we confirm that you're paying me 2.5%. Okay, a lot of agents they don't do that, right? And then they keep changing it on the on the on the 
MLS. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you disclose this form to them, okay, and this is part of the contract, okay. So Astro will know to pay you two and a half percent. Okay. If you don't have that form, CBC <coughs> form, they can say, oh, we changed it to two percent before they present the offer. Yeah. Who knows, right? So. Um, better practice, okay, include a CBC in there, okay, so they don't, you don't have any problems with the commission, okay, or if you have a good offer, right, you can say, I'll change the MLS from 2.5% to 3%, okay, if you take my offer, you have to pay me 3%, okay, so the answer for commission is always negotiable, okay, no one, no one really sets it, okay, is negotiated. Okay, commission. Your favorite subject. What is it? Is a commission and uh, is a real estate fee pay? It's a percentage of the selling price to the broker agent uh, for the services. Okay, a broker must be provided by who is ready, willing, and able to buy. Okay. What does it mean by able? Yeah, money, right? Money not in China, okay? In the USA, okay? Commission rate is entirely negotiable, okay? Usually 6 to 10%. 10% is for commercial stuff, okay? But now for competing, okay? You can no one no one charges 6% except coal or banker, okay? Usually it's five percent, okay. And some even go down to four percent and three percent, okay. And some people they, it's a advertising gimmick, okay. I'll sell your house for one percent, okay. So when they come to your house, right, one percent, right. Say yeah, I'm selling one percent, okay, for the listing part, right. Now for the selling agent, right, I have to give them 3% to sell your house, right? So you add it up, so it's actually 4%. And then what they do is that, okay, they don't let the other people's offer come in. They find their own buyer. They become a dual agent, so they make 4% from you, okay? So this is the trick of getting sellers to 1%. Actually, it's 4%, okay? So that's a trick in everything, right? <laughs> okay, commission can be earned even if the seller backs out for exclusive right to sell listing, okay? Because the Wuzu, okay? You know, I don't buy it, but you sign a deal, okay? I found a buyer, okay? You need to buy it for him. Okay, you sign a deal. This deal is. It's good in court, okay? So be careful how you sell it, okay? How what, what you sign, okay? If you have a reservation not to sell your home, don't sign, okay? If there are several brokers, okay, trying to sell the same property, the agent who is the procuring cost of the sale earns the commission, okay? What is it about procuring cost? You find a buyer who has, want to buy it, ready, willing, and able. Okay. Okay. I have uh, once come with uh, one of my agent, right? Show property and um, it's by appointment only. Okay. And then the agent, right? The the listing agent have to drive from Irvine all the way to the property. And then my agent was late. Okay. Okay. She was late. So this agent, listing agent, showed the buyer, right? Upstairs, downstairs, blah, 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 okay? And then we put an offer in, and then she say, she is the procuring agent because she opened the door. I say, what? The buyer speaks no English, right? How are you gonna represent them, okay? So I talked to the broker, right? And say, well, if you feel that you're the procuring agent, right? Then I'll bring my buyer to a different property. 
I will withdraw my offer. Do you want me to do that? I said, no, 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 no. Okay, we'll give you a full commission. <laughs> okay, so this agent, this thing agent, want a strong arm, right? To get her full commission. I said, we'll give you a referral fee. I said, how much is a referral fee? A couple hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, no, let me talk to your broker, okay? You're not the broker I need. Agent, just because you open the door and show a few minutes, right? So you have to be careful how outside agent wanna work it, right? So you need to have your self, you know, okay? Number one lesson, don't be late. <laughs> okay? Take care of your own buyer, okay? If you let other agents take care of your buyer, they will say, I'm the procuring cause, okay? Um so be careful out there, okay? You could always withdraw the offer, right? But you know, you may Yeah, if they really like the prop then you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, so uh remember that, okay? So don't cause any problem for yourself. Transfer disclosure statement. When you do the listing, you have to have this document, okay? It's called a TDS. Okay, it's called short for TDS. Okay, transfer disclosure statement. What what is it? Okay, 这个是什么表格？你要宣布什么东西的 ？Okay, you basically have to、uh, tell the buyer, okay, what your house, okay, 你要宣布给买主 ，okay， 你的房子是什么情况 ，okay。Any flooding, any fixing, any renovations, okay, etc. Ah,、uh, 你要宣布 okay, 有没有装修过啊？有没有油漆过啊？有没有淹水过啊？等等 okay, 要告诉 buyer. Another case, this case you have to remember, okay, Eastern and Strasburger, okay. Um, this involved the agent, okay. You have to give another report, a visual inspection report, okay, of what's wrong with the property, okay.、Uh, just because this law, this lawsuit, okay, is to protect yourself when you go out there and when you make the offer, when you go through escrow, you basically look at the house, okay, because you're not the home inspector, right? 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 Okay, this the ceiling has a yellow spot. You say ceiling has yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay, you just say this the ceiling has a yellow spot. Okay The door cannot close properly. You just have to force in. It's very hard to open and close. Okay. You know, you say that this door is very difficult to open. Okay. It means what? It's a red flag, right? It's a red flag. Okay. If you cannot close the door properly, okay, the door frame is lopsided. lopsided. What does that mean? Ah,、uh, foundation may be cracked. Okay, bad foundation. Your floor is probably cracked. Okay, so this house is wide. Okay, so be careful of how to do that. Okay, anything you see that is not normal, write it down. Okay. Um. What if they they buy the house that's clear? Doesn't matter. You still have to make that report. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have to let the buyer know, right, what you see as an agent, right, and then they also hire a home inspection company. They will inspect the house and they'll get a report. And if they say, "Oh, okay, these are minor stuff," then they continue buying. If not, they can yeah. Say no, they need to fix right. Down. Yeah, and also for the TDS, if you told them that、uh, we had a bathroom with a leak and but we repair it, but some buyer knowing that you had a leak is internal, you may not clean up all the moisture and may have mold. Right?、Okay. Uh, after two or three years, I, I don't want it. Okay. So,、um, disclose everything that you know, then you stay out of trouble. Okay, 你所知道的，你要宣布出去。Okay, 就保护自己。Okay.
，不用怕你的保险不买 ，OK？ 他不买，你再可以找房子。但是他买了之后，他没有宣布什么东西就麻烦的话，你自己找自己麻烦 ，OK？ Real estate transfer disclosure statement, OK? So it looks like something like this, OK? This is a TDS, OK? Why do you mean by the buyer has two years to disclose something from the government? Where? Well, this? Yeah, you have to disclose. Or else it's a two years. Yeah. Normally, if you know a fact, right? You know that it's leaked. You tell them it's a leak, right? Or on your... Let's say, let's say the, the, sell, the listing agent told you Right, and then you didn't convey that information to the buyer, okay? And then the buyer could sue you. It has the buyer has two years. Actually, up to three years. They say two years. Two years later. Yeah. So you're not you're not scot free after you sold the house, okay? Yeah, something happened. So so on here, right? They will you 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 basically check the equipment that you have in the house, right? Uh, a fireplace, right? Sprinkler system, okay. Your house's equipment, okay. Your quota, those are the things, okay. And then any renovation, any painting, okay. If you don't know, you say you don't know, okay. And then some banks, right? Ah, he buys houses, the bank, he says, I don't know anything. I don't live in the house, okay. I just 呃，拍卖那个房子 ，OK。So bank is protecting themselves by declaring that, OK。OK， so this is actually a three-page document, OK。这个纸张有三页的 ，OK。Yes, correct. Yes. No, you don't. You don't. You don't go try and everything. You got the home inspector. Okay. I relaunch again. Okay, I'm gonna check if I still have audio. Okay. All right, so sequence of filing in and signing the transfer disclosure statement form, okay? Um, at any time when the buyer received this transfer TDS form, okay, and he say, okay, on your form, I don't, I don't like you had a flood in the house, okay, I don't buy your house anymore, so they could withdraw the offer, okay. 他看到这个宣布之后 ，OK， 有三天 ，OK， they have three days, OK, after receiving this, they could say, I don't want this house, okay. For any reason, okay. So typically, when you get the listing, it's best if you get the seller to fill out this form first, okay. So when the offer is in, they automatically see this as a disclosure. You don't want to do it in the middle. They receive it, then they they could cancel, okay. Yeah, the buyer should receive a copy of the TDS and sign, and that he or she will receive it before making a written offer. So a lot of agents they don't do that. Okay, they just present the offer first, and then later on they wait for the TDS to come. Okay. Um. Typically, you should let them know it first. Okay, before they make the offer. The buyer's agent must also uh, visually inspect the property. Okay. That's called AVID. Okay, um, the agent, both agent, the the listing agent and the selling agent have to make their own report. Okay, they just say uh, ripping the carpet, dirty carpet, 
Okay, whatever. Okay. Do they get to match? Like, wouldn't you have the buyer? No. Oh, they, the the buyer and the seller gets a copy. Oh. They could match. Okay. Like, oh, this agent saw that. The agent didn't see that. Okay. So, but some agents they don't know how to fill it out, and they say dining room, right? Uh, normal, right? Well, if it's normal, don't put down normal. Just put down what's wrong. Right? Or they say okay, right? Or the other way is that you just say normal wear and tear, okay? Not okay, okay one, okay. Different different people have different okay, right? Um so basically you see this if the buyer fails to receive the TDS, right? Prior to signing the the uh, deposit receipt. He or she has the right to cancel after receipt of the uh, TDS for any reason. Mm -hmm. Three days if delivered by hand, five days if mailed. Okay. Mm -hmm. A written notice of termination must be delivered to the seller or to the seller's broker if they don't want it. Okay. 还有三天, okay, 他收到你这个宣布之后有三天, 一个你给他的, 一个寄给他的话叫五天, okay. okay, broker's responsibility. Okay, um, okay. A trust account, okay, people's money, other people's money. Uh, before, they used to write you a check, right? Uh, deposit check. Okay, we don't, we don't do that anymore, okay? It's too complicated, okay? We just say to the seller, okay, if you accept this offer, they will wire transfer the money to the escrow, okay? So we don't deal with, uh, buyer's money. Okay. So escrow, as soon as escrow, would it be No. Before they would write the offer. Okay. Buyer, the, the selling agent will give you the offer and also include a check, you know, personal check written out to the company, right? The listing company. Okay. Uh, we stop that practice. Okay, why? Because sometimes they run out of checks, right? They use one check for multiple offer, and that's considered fraud. Okay, some company some company got into trouble because they did they did that, right? 他用一张支票，他填三四个 offer 都是一张支票，这不是骗人嘛， right? 你不同支票 OK， right? 同一张支票是诈骗。Okay, so if some company then they got into trouble, so people stop using the check. They say, okay, if you accept my offer, uh, why the transfer money to escrow company? Okay, so I don't touch the money. Okay, I don't touch any checks. Okay, so you know, since that, not the deposit, okay, he this contract is written, okay, announce, you accept my offer. Okay, 三天之内, okay, 我的买主会打钱到Escrow公司上面 就OK了 okay. Some old school broker, they still Where's your check? No more checks okay. If you have an account, a trust account okay, uh, Be careful how you handle the buyer and the tenant's money okay. We have established a trust account, right, or just account dedicated to collect other people's money, okay? The only thing is you could only uh, include, okay, $200 when you open up the account for miscellaneous fees, okay? You can save about 1200 okay? Um, but you cannot commingling, okay? There's two terms, commingling and conversion. Okay, you have to know. Okay, what is commingling? The mixing, okay, together of the funds, of the principal and the licensee. Okay. So if I do receive a rent check, okay, from a tenant, I put it into my my normal general account. That's not good. That's called commingling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to put it into a dedicated account only for tenants. Okay. For other people's money, okay. I cannot touch that money, okay. 
And if I touch it, I said I want to Walmart, right? I, I don't have any card except for that card. I just use it to buy a, a carton of milk, okay? It's called conversion. I'm using other people's money. That's not my money, okay? Yeah. And if, if you got fined out and people know, they <coughs> sue you, you lose your license. Wow. Because you're using other know. people's money, okay? Mm. Commingling, okay? It's a mistake or whatever, okay? But you should not do it anyway, okay? Mm. They have a test question on there too, right? Mm. Okay? They will ask you, okay? You have a check. You receive a check, rent money, whatever, okay, a deposit, okay. At the office, you have a safe, okay. The safe has your own money, okay, and then you put this check into the safe. Let's say over the weekend, right? It's called commingling. Okay, you're mixing the funds, right, in one place in the safe, okay. It's called commingling. Okay, if you put this check into your other account for your general fund account, that's called commingling. Okay? You put the account all together, okay? That's called commingling. Okay? Yes. So what you do is, if you have a safe, right? Only put other people's money in one safe, okay? Not in the same safe as your other funds, okay? So commingling is also um, not good, okay? Yeah. Remember that, okay? Yeah. It's called mixing together funds of the principal and yours, okay? Yeah. Now conversion is you using other people's money, and that's not good, okay? That's a felony, okay? Yeah. You, could, you could lose your license for that, okay? So we try not to handle people's money, okay? For the offers, right? Unless you do property management, okay? You collect rent. So when you collect rent, you put it into one separate account, okay? And then that account takes care of everything, okay? So that applies more to when you're renting a region versus selling? Yeah, because typically when you collect money, right? Just for the offer before they write you checks, right? Right now, no one want to touch the check anymore. So it doesn't really apply anymore. for sales, yeah. But only for if you do management, right? You receive rent checks and stuff like that, right? So be careful, okay? Now I'll give you an extreme example, okay? Let's say the tenant comes to your place and pay you cash, right? Cash and not knowing this law, right? You put the cash into your wallet. In front of the person? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay? That's called commingling. Your wallet has your own money, right? And then you put in their cash into your wallet. That's called commingling. Okay? Even if you go after to the bank? Oh, if it's an empty pocket, it's okay. But if I put in my wallet, where I put my other cash, my own personal cash, it's called commingling. Yeah. Okay. And if you put it into your purse, it's called commingling. Yeah. Now, if your purse is empty, right? No money in it, no money, not a penny of your money, then it's okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's why you see people with the pouch, right? They put in the pouch and then go, they don't put it in the wallet. Oh, is that the reason for the pouch? Yeah, it's for convenience. You want to separate it. Okay. Now, if you put the pouch with their money into your pocketbook, your bag with your money, it's called coming in. Okay. So be careful how you do the terminology, okay? As long as you mix the funds together in the envelope or in the vessel or whatever, it's called commingling. Okay? What is the office safe? Your wallet or your uh, handbag? Okay? Or your backpack? Okay? Or your briefcase? Okay? But the people don't know, yeah. you, you get rid of you. You get away with it, right? But if people see you, you're in trouble. Okay?
I have to report you in trouble. Okay, everybody know what commingling is, right? Yeah. Mixing of mixing of money, okay, in any form or shape, okay? Yeah. Okay. Even if you don't put it in your wallet, right? You put it in your quote unquote empty pocket. But then your pocket has change in that you can commingle it, okay? <laughs> so that's why you separate it and you carry it. Uh, envelope, yeah, by itself, but don't put the envelope in your handbag. <laughs> okay. Even if it's sealed. Yes. Wow. It's commingle right into your handbag. Okay. If it's by itself, it's okay. <laughs> Conversion, okay, is that don't take out a pouch and say, okay, I gotta buy a piece of gum. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out, right? <laughs> exactly. That's called conversion, okay? Even if you use one penny, it's called conversion, okay? Okay, transaction files, okay? All documents relating to any transaction must be kept for three years, okay? You uh, paperwork, okay? Three years, okay? Three years. Now, we keep multiple forms too, multiple, okay, multiple, how do you do multiple, okay, we upload the documents up into cloud, right, cloud form, or your own cloud, whatever, okay, storage, um, you have the hard copy, okay, the okay, uh, and then we put it, another form, uh, into memory stick, right, or into a computer. So you got three places, okay? In case the cloud, whatever reason, okay, mm -hmm. is out of service, okay? Mm -hmm. Or the original got burned up in a fire, okay? And then you still have your computer, okay? On a hard drive, okay? Or a CD, okay? So keep multiple sets of documents for three years, okay? Because sometimes the bureau will come and spot check you, okay, for the transaction. They give me transaction, you know, one, two, three Main Street, okay, two years ago, okay. You cannot produce, you're in trouble, okay. Salespeople may be independent contractor employees, okay. Uh, this is Duli. Uh, okay? mm -hmm. So you don't work for the company, you work you work for yourself. And you set your own hours, okay? You buy your own insurance, you pay your own taxes, okay? Does that represent the company? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, agent must pay their own what? Federal income tax, okay, and advancing for the so so okay. State income tax, okay, so thing for the um so okay. Social security, okay, say un say the uh okay. Disability insurance, workers comp, okay, federal unemployment insurance and state unemployment insurance. The yeah, but anyway, we're gonna issue a 1099, okay? And basically, typically, you pay the federal income tax and the state income tax, okay? And Social Security, not many people will pay that, okay? So when you claim for unemployment, it's not a job, okay? Um, you get less. So to speak, if you don't have the insurance, okay. What if you get hurt? Well, that's what com what is com. What if you don't have it? Yeah, you have, you have to pay for your own. Yeah, if you don't pay for the insurance, then you don't get hurt. Okay. Yeah, when you do the business. You need you need the license, yeah. But for your own stuff, okay. See on 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 
Okay. Let me give you another. Okay. According to BRE, right? It's a little bit misnomer, okay? You are an employee, right? Of the broker. Okay? Or the company, okay? What they mean by that, okay? You are under the license, right? Okay? Of that broker, okay? But broker's point of view that you're independent contractor, okay? You are not an employee, okay? But on the test, right? You're not an employee. On the test, right? They are saying that you are an employee of the broker, okay? Because your license is underneath the broker, okay? So be careful, right? When they're testing you, Okay, you are an employee, but in real life situation, right, you are an independent contractor. Okay, by the nature of your position, you're quote unquote employee. Okay, is it is it from 跟那个房地产公司打工的 Okay, okay, that's what they mean by employee. Okay, 你的 license 是挂的在一个房地产公司上面。你是他们的员工 ，OK？ 但是你做生意这方面的话 ，OK？ 你是独立的 ，OK？ 有的 don't get confused，OK？So、okay? this is one of the like the trick question，OK？、Okay? 它很像一个 trick question 一样 ，OK？So、okay? be careful，OK？Of、okay? this question。Okay, so you gotta pay all the taxes and stuff, right?、Mm -hmm. uh, written broker associate contract. Okay, when you come on board, when you <laughs> pass the exam, okay,、um, on the application we put you as one of our agents. Okay,、mm -hmm. so some students they have pending cases that they want to do. So on the same day that they pass the test, okay. Uh, if the computer permits it, if it's on time, I could see your name as one of our agents already. Okay, or latest by the next day. Now, if you're missing a document, right? You forgot you do your fingerprint, or they have a question on 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 your status on your file, then they will not issue on the same day. Okay, and then I know that you're missing something already. Okay. But then, if you are our agent, you have to sign a contract with our agency, our company. Okay, our contract is very simple.、Uh, we give you a full eighty percent of the company as a new rookie agent. They probably give you like sixty-five, seventy percent only. Okay, since I train you in my school, okay, I give you a full eighty percent right off the bat. Okay. Uh, a copy of this contract must be retained by all parties for three years from the date of termination. Okay, so the contract that you sign with the company, right? Even though you say, "Oh, tomorrow I don't work with you anymore. I work with another company," you have to keep that contract for three years. Okay, like any other transaction, three years. Okay, 就保保持这个协议三年 Okay. Okay, BRE notification.、Um, right now, from electronically is instant. Okay, if I dismiss an agent, okay,、um, or transfer an agent, okay, typically ten days, okay, and then、uh, five days for new employment. Okay, right now it's it's, it's instant. Okay. 现在不需要五天时间了。他通过电脑这个网的话，马上他也知道。Okay. Okay. Uh, if you want to really know, okay, for new employment, right, five days. Okay. If they leave the company, ten days. Okay.
Okay, agents who buy and sell for their own account. Okay, 如果你是 agent， 你想买卖你的房子 ，Okay, you have to disclose to other people that you are an agent, your license agent. Okay. 如果你自己买自己房子 ，OK， 你要宣布给对方 ，OK， 你是一个 sales agent。如果我是买我的房子，我要宣布我是 broker，OK，so、okay? they know that you know your real estate stuff、okay?。Yes， but when you see if you're not licensed， you can sell your own house too， but you don't have to say because you're not an agent。OK， I'm only selling。But if you're real estate licensed and you sell your own house， you have to tell that buyer that。This is my house, and I'm also real estate licensed. You have to add that extra statement in there, okay?、Uh, state this fact in all written contracts, okay? So other people know that you're licensed, okay? Inform your own broker. Most broker have their own requirement, okay? My requirement is that you just add a phrase that I'm a principal, okay? I'm the seller, and I'm lic real estate licensed, okay? Okay, power of attorney. Okay, 委托书 And acknowledge. Okay, what does it mean by acknowledge? Notarize, right? 公证公证过的 Okay, notarize. A written authorization of one person to act for another. Okay, it's not an agent. Okay. Agent is usually for compensation. Okay, this is done as a favor. Okay, and in real estate, we use the special power of attorney. Okay, and it's good for whatever address that they put down for single property. Okay, and if you represent for multiple property, you have to put down addresses. Okay. You can list, okay. So, the one who's receiving the power of attorney is called an attorney in fact, okay. And when you sign, this is part of practice, okay. When you sign the name, right, for the seller or the buyer, if you're the power of attorney, right, you say that、um, you. You sign the name as seller, okay, okay, as okay, attorney of fact by, and then you sign your name, okay. That's how you sign, okay. Typically, you just sign your name like that, right? Okay, but if you're attorney, in fact, you have to sign the the seller's name, okay, as attorney, in fact, by who you, right, your signature. So for initial, right, again, you put down the seller's initial, okay, dot dot, and then as attorney, in fact, okay, you could abbreviate that, okay, and then sign your name, okay, like that. That's how you initial. Uh, for long docs, okay. Long docs is the hundreds of pages, okay. So each time you go in there, you sign for long docs, right? Your hands gonna go like this, numb. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of writing, okay. So. If you ask to be a power of attorney, okay, be careful. You're gonna sign a lot of stuff, okay. You're the seller. The You're not here, okay. So you you ask her to represent you to sign the document, okay. And and if you're not Here in the United States, okay. Let's say you're in China and you want to do a power of attorney for her, right? You have to go to a U.S. embassy, okay? 美国领事馆 okay? 去公证 to notarize that power of attorney. 
and then mail the original back to her, and then she will give escrow. And then that's where we record it, okay? Yeah, when you get into the deals, and you, you learn a lot more, okay? But I'm just at, telling you what the procedure is, okay? So sometimes when you come, let's say you come to China, uh, from China, you visit, right? You have a friend here, right? That you're staying with, and you want to buy a house. It's best for you to do the power attorney in the United States, okay? So you don't have to go to the U.S. Embassy when you're back in China, okay? Where are you going to sign it? You mean the corporate company? Or what no, the, 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 the power attorney is basically a, a piece of document saying that you're letting her to represent you, but then it has to be notarized in the USA. From where you can get the support? From escrow. escrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up, okay? There's not many slides left. Taught by an agent. Okay. Uh, a civil injury or wrong committed on a person on his or her property. Okay. Taught by agent is typically the agent uh Okay. They're not careful, they say the wrong thing. Uh, or they purposely okay uh, defraud the other party, okay? Okay, misrepresentation is an untrue statement made by a broker to influence the outcome of the sale, okay? They say, oh, this is one of the top 10 schools in the district, right? But it's not, it's number 11, okay? Puffing is different, okay? okay? It's embellishment, okay? It's an opinion, okay? You can say this beautiful house right or you could say this is uh, one of the biggest right house or this is the best one of the best okay you cannot say the best school right one of the best right so this is called puffing okay okay this is opinion okay not a fact okay so remember this is opinion Okay. Three types of misrepresentation. Innocent. Okay. Negligent. Fraudulent. Okay. Secret profit. We talked about before, right? Mimi the so called. Okay. Any profit that is not known to the principal. Okay. To the seller, especially. Okay. Let's say I took uh, 10 grand from the other agent and then I just say, oh, I'll sell it to this, okay? And then you don't know about it, okay? That's called secret profit. Warranty authority, okay? Uh, basically, some are expressed and some are implied, okay? Um, you basically represent the, uh, the landlord or the seller, right? And Okay. Okay. Disclosure of age and death, okay. Uh property limit okay. 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 You don't need to, okay? You put in a shunbu, okay? So people, they usually, okay, sometimes they buy property very cheap because there's a death in there, right? And then they rent it out, okay? Even rental, you have to disclose, okay? But mm -hmm. most American, they don't care, okay? You rent it out for three years, then you sell it, then you don't have to disclose. Okay, after three years, because typically is uh, twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollar difference, okay, between the price.
Okay, require agent disclosure summary, one to four units. Okay. 啊，这是要宣布你看到什么不对的东西了 ，OK？ 啊，有很多宣布的表格 ，OK？ Visual inspection, OK? It's called AVID, OK? Disclosure of agency, OK? So AD, agency disclosure. 这是表格的的的 title 了 ，OK? Disclosure. The negotiability of real estate commission. Okay, this is the CBC. Okay, no disclosure required for manner occurrence of death affliction of occupant with AIDS. Okay, 他不用宣布他怎么死的 Okay, 他怎么情况 Right, 他就讲人死在里面 Okay. Okay, termination of agency relationship. 怎么去结束这个代表了 Okay, operation of law. 哎，法律上呢，就是过期了，到期了 Okay, destruction of the property. 房子烧了 Okay, 你就没有房子，你你这个协议就停掉了 Okay, death or incapacity of the broker or the seller. Okay, 一个一方的，呃，这个买买主 Okay. 还是这个 broker， 他死了，还是他脑子不清醒了 ？OK， 也也可以停掉。OK， 呃、uh, ， acts of the seller and the broker。OK， they both agree。OK， 两方同意的。呃、uh, ， renouncement of the listing by the broker。OK， 这个单方的。OK， 这个可能，呃、uh, ，屋主可以告他。OK， 呃、uh, ， of course， close the vesco， 完成了。就完成了 ，OK。Revocation of listing by the seller. Seller 讲我不卖了，现在 ，OK。这样子的话 ，broker 可以告他 ，OK。Okay, reason for termination. This is what I talk about before, OK. Now destruction of property, OK. Remember, OK. If your house is burned down, right, your listing agreement is also terminated. OK， 这个协议也结束了，因为你没有房子卖了。OK， 明白吗 ？OK， 呃、uh, ，broker must run run like a business。OK， 就是做房地产的生意。OK， 就是普通的生意一样。OK， they have what we call a gross dollar and a company dollar。OK， so every hundred dollar comes in， right？ The company dollar becomes what twenty dollar, right, or less, right? If I give out eighty percent to the agent, right? So one hundred dollars my company gross dollar, okay? Company dollar is only twenty dollar, okay? That's how they figure out company dollar, okay? Yeah, that's how much commission other people pay us. Okay, the seller pays us, right? Eighty dollar goes to the agent, right? And then twenty is the company dollar. Then I have expenses, right? Minus the expenses. Okay, that's what that means. Okay. One stop shopping. Okay, this is 一条龙服务了 Okay, everything we have it. Okay, from、um, selling, buying. Renting, okay, doing loans, right? I have a school, right? Your 学校 right? Uh, we gonna have our own escrow company too, okay? 都做了 okay? 一条龙的服务也有投资的 okay? Investment also, okay? One stop shopping. So chapter four, we have the summary, okay? The most thing that you want to do is remember net listing. You can make a lot of money if you know how to do it. Do it, okay? Exclusive right to sell is the contract to sign and commingling, okay? We don't put the client's money in our own pockets, okay? And no secret profits, okay? That's basically it, okay? Any questions?